guys, how's it going? It is Eve, and today we're going to be checking out Ghost Fitting in EVE Online. This is currently live on Singularity, and it should be put into Tranquility probably in the October expansion, which is hopefully because it is a very useful tool. So, for those of you that don't know what Ghost Fitting is, I'll give you a rough rundown of what it actually is. Basically, you take the EVE Fitting tool, or any third party application that you can fit ships in in EVE Online that's external and then you can import. So the EVE fitting tool you can fit the ships you want and then import the fit. But so what Ghost Fitting does is exactly that except in EVE Online. So without further ado I'll show you actually how to activate it and we'll go through a simple fit of a ship of some sort. So in order to actually start it when you log on to Singularity for the first time or Tranquility you may not actually have the fitting beta window active. So if you look on my Neocom, I don't actually have it except for the new star map which is in beta still. So in order to get the new fitting window or the ghost fitting window, you need to press escape and go to general settings and check the try new fitting window. Check that and close your window. After that, you'll need to head up to your Neocom menu and it'll be right here right under ship fitting you'll find ship fitting beta and that is where you have your ghost fit so just like the old here I'll open up the old one too just like the old fitting window they're exactly the same the only differences is really how it looks and what you can do with it the old fitting window is really just for strictly fitting ships than really doing anything so We'll exit out of the old one. So basically, you have two types of modes in the ghost fitting. So your first mode is module mode. It tells you what's offline, online, active, overheated, and passive, and stuff like that. Next, you have your skill mode. Where basically, it is like, whatever is blue, you can use, and whatever is red, you don't have the skills to use. Just like, basically, it just tells you what you can use and what you can't use. But other than that, the fitting window over here on your right side, your capacitor, offense, defense, targeting, navigation, and drones all stayed the same. Uh, so this was released basically just today, but it's still a little bit on the buggy side. I can't actually open up the drone bays yet, so a little weird. But regardless of that, over here you have two tabs right under on your left side. It's your skins tab, which currently doesn't work. Like I said, it's just been released today and you have your browser tab. This is probably your most important tab when it comes to ghost fitting. Uh, you have your hardware tab at the top where you... well hardware is basically all your ship fittings. You have smart bombs, shields, scanning equipment, propulsion, hull and armor. You've got basically the whole nine yards. You have your charges over here. You have... well I believe I just clicked on a laser so it brought up all the charges. But regardless of that Next tab, the very first tab on your left is your hulls and fits. So if you have some saved fittings, you will actually be able to access them here. You just click on the Chimera for example, and I don't have a Chimera fit, so you have no item. So in order to ghost fit a ship, what do you do? Well, to ghost fit a ship, let's say if we want to fit up a... Oh, I don't know. Let, let's just say we're gonna fit up a Hulk. So, you will need to find the Hulk, and you need to click on the Simulate button. Once you hit the Simulate button, yes, because it's just saying that it'll overwrite your uh, entire previous ship, and the Hulk's kind of broken, but regardless, you have your Ghost of a Hulk here, and you have basically the entire fitting of a Hulk. So if I were to actually right click and show you, if we go fitting, we have our CPU. I actually have a CPU skill, so I'm not really going to go into that, that's a bit, mine's a little different. But regardless of that, high slots, we have two high slots. We have four medium, we have four medium, we have three low, we have three low, and two rigs, two rigs. And there you go. It's basically a copy of a ship that doesn't exist. So now let's say if we want to fit our mining lasers and stuff like that go down to hardware, you'll have a choice of searching for it, or you can filter by the item slot. 
so we want a high slot mining laser or strip miner sorry you want to click on filter high slot and it'll filter out everything that is in the high slot so it makes it much easier to go down to turns and bays and stuff like that and to actually find it because well, like I can't even find it here so you could even go search item and go and just type in strip here it is strip miner and you can even see just by uh, hovering over it you can see that basically my capacitor there is already changing my CPUs going up and stuff like that and even the cost of the Hulk here it is uh, this is I don't believe this is an accurate price of the Hulk but regardless of that let's say we want to put in a strip miner one so you have two choices of how to actually fit it in the ghost window you could double click on it and there you go it's actually been put in or you can just drag and drop it and there you go so now we have our two strip miners and it's really the same goes for everything else so now let's say we want to find some uh, rigs for example we uncheck high slot we filter out by rigs and we go rigs and now we have all of our rigs so let's say we want a capacitor rig let's just say we want the capacitor control circuit rig we double click on it and we have our rig same goes let's say we want a, a drone rig a medium drone rig a scope chip one drag and drop that's basically really it is that's really all it is to ghost fitting uh, I believe drones don't work as of yet oh, this one actually does for some reason but basically same thing goes for drones if you want you can filter out by drones and you have all your drones let's say we want some light drones let's say we want hornet ones you can just drag and drop them in and now they're here and there you go hornet ones you can see the dps has already been applied to 14.1 dps and that's really all it is to ghost fitting it's a fitting of a ship that you don't have and it's basically just like eFit or the other third-party tools that currently exist and are available on the Eve Online forums. So that is it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope this is useful. Fly Dangerous. Peace.